Okay, so next I want to add a little peaking functionality. I'll just show you what I mean by peaking. So I move all the way to the right, draw three lines. Now I want to draw some parallel line, uh, parallel line uh, to the first line um, that spans the entire three lines I already drew. But if I draw it now, I don't know how far I need to go because I'm the slider is still here for setting the in and out points. And when being in parallel drawing mode, I don't want to go each time to the right just to reveal everything and to know how far I need to go. So therefore, I'll add some functionality to um, reveal the entire uh, sequence of the the drawing so you have context of what's what's your drawing and you know exactly that that while in, in parallel drawing mode you need to go all the way to this point in order to cover the the entire schematic or whatever so in this way uh, you get some peaking uh, while in drawing mode uh, so let's just make this and show you what i mean uh, so remove these lines and go into the master. So for now we have this uh, math uh, telling uh, what range is revealed. Uh, so this is what we need to uh, modify. And for this we'll use uh, the L select. So we will use select and we will go one level up to panel one select the L select which is active while drawing so also while being in parallel drawing mode this will become active so that's something we will be needing um, what else do we need um, during the drawing we want to reveal the whole sequence so therefore we need to tell all the lines to reveal themselves so how can we do this uh, using this L select, but also using a constant, we just constantly put at one. So using this one, we can tell all the lines when L select is active to use this one. So how do we do this with a switch? Uh, bum, bum. And normally, um, if I just connect these in the right way, I can tell using this switch, uh, I'll just place them like this. Um, using the switch, uh, bum, bum, like this, bum, bum. So if you plug in the L select as the first input, you can activate this first input is index to on. So now you won't be able to use the slider. But this L select will determine if the first input or the second input is um, used. So what this does is while I'm drawing, whether it's being in a pen mode or parallel drawing mode, all the lines will have this L select and, and all lines this L select will become active, which is saying to all the lines like, okay, when I'm active, use your index one, which is this constant, instead of the, the trimmed one that's being controlled by the slider. So I'll just maybe show you what I mean, but first uh, let's connect this switch instead of this math now, because this math, if I'm not mistaken, is, uh, let's see. Yes, this math is uh, controlling this trimming, but now we want the switch to take this uh, instead or to control this instead. So we'll just use the trim. So therefore, if we now start drawing some lines, let's go one level up, start drawing it again. Uh, normally, if we do the same now, we get some errors. Uh, so we need to do some troubleshooting as well, I think. But anyway, if we are in a parallel drawing mode, set an endpoint, shift I, shift O. And now when I'm drawing, I see the complete sequence. So that's exactly what we want. 
so let's go in the first line we drew in order to see what's happening um, so when we don't left click with our mouse we are using the slider to control the trimming but uh, actually just go in line two because this is not visible yet but while drawing in parallel mode we actually want to make this visible so let's go in line two now it's not revealing itself uh, because it's not active or the slider is not revealing those uh, this line but if i'm drawing in this parallel mode now this l select will become active meaning it's not looking at the, the slider values in order to trim but this l select will make sure this switch is switching to its second input not zero but one and while it's one it's um picking this constant which is one so trim will go from zero to one um, bum, bum. and let's see what's happening here um, so the switch is complaining switch one okay the channel name is while we select select you see the channel name switching from v1 to chan one and inside of the trim we're telling it to use channel v1 which is not matching anymore so we will just make it zero so it's always matching uh, and do the same of course in the master so it is copied to all the children or replicate replicants uh, so now the error should be gone already as they are cloning it and there you go so now we have everything and all those lines will still happen in parallel Ooh, while the other ones are still following after all those drawing okay so we have for ourselves some peaking functionality edits nice <laughs>